Hello and welcome back to Minecraft on the Jay Sano fan server with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. Hello, how we doing today? I'm here at my castle, surrounded by memories in item frames, which a lot of will soon be heading towards the uh, the museum that Nature is building. I think I'll uh, I'll donate quite a few of these, including maybe maybe not that one, but maybe Diavolo's glow stick could go to the museum. How to run for mayor? That's from Boo. Probably not the Death Games diamonds. But uh, maybe my plea from the uh, the trial that could go to the museum. Yeah, we'll see. Deal or no deal winnings? That's one of them anyway. So, I'm actually here just to start off. Start off, you know, they say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? You know, get you get you going for the rest of the day, give you the energy, the nutrition. Uh, well, kindly, very kindly, uh, Newsman Mixon has given us some breakfast to eat. He's given us some French toast here. We've got the maple syrup. We've got the sprinkling of cinnamon. And we have some lovely French toast there. Okay, well, let's take some French toast. Um, lovely. I guess we can't... Cinnamon's nice, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave the cinnamon for now. I think we just have some nice maple syrup. And a nice bit of French toast. Lovely stuff. Okay. Thank you very much, Newsman. I have to um, give you some, I don't know, maybe a, a nice English fry-up breakfast one time. I have to give to you. Anyway, today's episode we're going to do a few things. We're going to build another shop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> another one, yeah. Um, but we'll do that later on in the episode. First of all, I want to head towards Trump Tower. I can't remember if um, since last episode I've done any more work to it in terms of the height. I think I have made it slightly taller. So it's now, uh, I think it's now 100 blocks high. Yeah, because it was 80 before, so now it's 100. I definitely added 20 blocks to it. Um, so, you know, the height's almost there. I do want it to be a little bit higher, maybe another 20 blocks. But I can do that later on. That's no big fuss, really, with the, the gold farm. What I do want to do is start to work out the inside of it. Because, obviously, it's, it's going to be an office. It's, it's going to be used for, well, either offices or uh, maybe um, suites that you could, you could rent out somewhere to live, like apartments, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, obviously, it's a very tall tower. How are we going to get up and down? We don't want to use a ladder. That's that's lame. That's that's not the Trump way. Plus, it takes way too long. Uh, there are elevators, you know, slime block elevators and things like that, which um, could work. Although on servers, they tend to be a bit laggy. Sometimes you get spat out. Sometimes they just they just refuse to work. I don't like dealing with slime blocks on the server. I just think they're a bit annoying. However, someone very kindly. Um, left because I asked everyone on the server oh I don't know what what can I do I need an elevator that you can get out of so a lot of elevators in Minecraft they just go once you get in they'll go all the way until they stop but that's not really how elevators work is it you can get off at any any level you press a button and boom you're out I need one that could do that so I think I've got that pretty much sorted someone left this here I don't know who if you're watching please do say because um, I've asked loads of people and they said no it wasn't me it's amazing. It's it uses piston. Look at me, particle. It uses piston translocation to um, pull you upwards, and it uses the head of the piston. Like, watch, hang on. Watch this. See that? Whoa! It, it's quite, it's quite clever. I don't know whether it's a bug or whether it's a feature. Probably a bug. Will probably get fixed in a future version of Minecraft, but I'm going to use it anyway. It's like the piston head comes out and then as it retracts it pulls you with it so it's pretty good and it's pretty cheap to make like no no massive amounts of redstone needed a little bit of redstone comparators but uh, some tripwire hooks one piston not too bad and so I, I, I made a, a head start on this as you can see inside just to see how it would go tileable and as you can see there's three of them and it works like a charm Look at that, we're up. Uh, might I just say, right, I, I, I added a bit of redstone to this, which... Oh, man. Check this out. So, if I get rid of these pistons here, you'll see that it actually breaks. I'll leave that one up there. But watch this. Okay, so we go up it. Oh, Alright, that still works, but if we look back down... Uh-oh! The the pistons are out. and They, they haven't retracted in. The, the, the pulse was too quick or something. And the reason that what's happening is it needs a redstone update. Oh, it needs a block update, sorry, to retract. Watch. As soon as I put something next to it, it, it figures out. 
it's the bud switch stuff, basically. The block update stuff. So it, it realises, oh crap, we shouldn't be out, we should be in. So the, the way I fix that is I added the piston so that when... Oh man, oh, I can't put that one back now. Oh, I've got no blocks. So that when, um, when it goes out, the second piston gives it an update to go back in. I was... Nix was here with me, and he can attest to this. I was just... Oh, I was on form with my redstone genius that day. Oh, is that right? No, I made that too high. Um, but what I'm going to do today is just do a little bit more work on this. I'm not going to use stone brick in the final thing. This is just a placeholder block. But uh, where should it be? There? Yeah. So now... You see, they're all back in because these pop out at the same time. Um, you get it. If you get redstone, you'll get it. Uh, right. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another. I think that's about the right height. In fact, I think I'll take off that top one, and that would be one floor, like equal to there. That would be one floor. So how high is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's about right. Because one is too short. Like that is that's too short. That's like a yeah. We'll do every two can be a new a new floor in Trump Tower. And um, I'll show you what I have in mind to sort of zigzag up the building. So I'm going to get to work. I've got some supplies here. Maybe. Not many, but some. Yeah. Uh, I'll build a bit more and I'll show you the end result. Well, I'm back. I've done some redstoning. It's um, It's been an experience, that's for sure. Uh, I, I, I count myself as a redstone genius, but um, I must admit... It does get a little bit confusing at times, and also uh, deadly sometimes as well. <laughs> I I may have got a little bit crushed in the elevator. Um, it was a freak accident. It won't happen again in Trump Towers. I, I realised what the problem was. But um, here we go. Here's like a sort of mock-up of how it would look. Obviously, these aren't the final like, designs because it looks a bit ugly at the moment, but I just picked the blocks that I had available. Um, but this is how it would go. So basically, to go up each level, you'd have to zigzag from elevator to elevator and also it kind of makes sense because in most skyscrapers and, and buildings you'd have two elevators next to each other wouldn't you it not not for this purpose but you know they would just have two anyway so it kind of matches the look of 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 you know offices and things uh, so say if I wanted to get up to the top floor I'd have to do this oh first floor second floor and third floor so here we go. That's how it would work. That see, it doesn't take too long at all. Just literally walking a few blocks. Uh, I might have one more in the corner though. I think I've got room for one more. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, I think I can squeeze one in here. That one might just go all the way to the top. Like there might be one that just goes straight up with no stops. That might be quite fun. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty good. Oh, and, oh, and I need a way down as well. Probably a water drop or something. Because uh, at the moment it's a bit of a fool. There you go. Not bad. Not too bad. I like it. And it gets the job done. It's nothing simple, really, so don't think there's too much else to show. I'm sure there's something else I wanted to say, but now I forgot. Um, but yeah, to anyone who wants to use this, just make sure you go in straight on. So why I've put these here is because if you go in at an angle, you will get stuck. And sometimes there's a bit of lag as well like that, where it just goes up. You should really hear it go twice, like... Yeah, you hear that twice. Sometimes when it lags, it just goes woof, straight up. But um, I'm also not sure whether that's the right... I think this is a good limit for a, a floor, like height-wise. One, two... Well, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's good. Yeah. And I think here we're going to have, like, a sort of reception area. Stuff like that. It'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. Uh, and there'll be places to rent out if anyone on the server wants a nice little uh, home away from home at Trump Tower. Which still needs to be finished. But um, I'm going to head towards Shop Town, which is just over there. Not very far away at all. But before we get started on another shop to build, my bakery. Which has been in the works for a long time. I've got most of the supplies ready. I've got the design ready as well. I will splice in a few clips of... You remember last episode? The whole Marge prank against Asus 380. Um, well, the... I was kind of right and kind of wrong uh, about you know him burning it straight away because actually he kept it up for a few days, for a couple of days at least. Marge survived, but like I said in the video, 
it was it was there to burn really being made out of wool so uh, as a, a mini group event Asus uh, got his flint and steel at the ready and we watched the burning of the Marge and I recorded some using Luckmuck who is now in spectator mode believe it or not so I could get some nice fancy camera flying shots um, I won't put the whole thing here because it literally is just a big thing of Marge burning but I put a few cool shots I took and um, yeah just to see how Marge well, she didn't die. She lives on in our hearts, but just uh, how that iteration of Marge ended. Yeah, it was uh, it was quite beautiful, quite something to see Marge go. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with the prank. It went well. It ended well as well. So here we are. This is where my bakery is gonna be. My supplies and some other random junk is in here. I think I need to get a bit more as well, but I'm going to do this all off screen. I'm not going to bother with a uh, different view, like fast forward, like mark view. Uh, I'm just going to get it done because, um, well, I'm just going to follow the creative one I've built. So I will be back in a bit with the bakery up and running, and I'll show you what's all down there as well. Um, yeah, let's get started. Oh man, that took a long time. It is a good thing that I did not record that with Luckmark because that would have been well over, well, what, maybe two hours? I did not think it would take that long, but I needed a bit more than I thought I did in terms of supplies. Anyway, are you ready for the FI reveal? A one, two, three, go. <gasps> oh, there it is. Isn't it pretty? There is, let's have a look at the sign. Oh, Ace is just left. There is Muckluck Sweet Treats, Patisserie and Bakery. You may be thinking, if you're a, if you're a fan of Mindcrack, and in particular B00 and Generic B, it may look a bit familiar to you. Uh, they built their own B Team Bakery on the Mindcrack server quite a while ago now, but it was a build that I really liked. Um, you know, using all the over the top pink and the whirl, and they had a big B, so I put a big M for Muckluck. Uh, I think it's come out really well. There is just one more thing left to do. You may be able to tell from my inventory, but it needs a few flowers. Just kind of all around here. Let's put some in the windows. I'll show you inside in just a second. That one can go there. Like that. And there. What else have we got? We've got some peonies. We've got some whatever that is. Bluet. I don't know. What the peony? Oh, that's a tall one, actually. Okay, you don't go there. One of those. One of those. One of those. One of those. And let's put some orange ones. Oh, there you go. Oh, and let's put a regular old poppy right there. Ah, oh, now it looks so much better. So, on the inside, well, first of all, we've got the cakes in the window, so you can drool over them. Mm, they look so nice. And not just cakes, but also... Alright, okay. Bit of, bit of artistic license here, but that's supposed to be a bowl of not a bowl a tray of cupcakes for example but really it's a daylight sensor yeah I know but yeah use your imagination so as we go in oh it's so pretty we have places to sit and look out a wonderful view of a dirt hill um, lovely flowers at least uh, over here you got the same thing oh put some more flowers here as well the floor is a little bit, um, I copied this from B Team Bakery as well. They put redstone ore under their carpets, so it looks like it's all lovey-dovey particles as you walk over it. Oh, look at that. Oh. Um, we have some more cakes in the background behind the till. Oh, that one looks nice. And some cookies at the top as well. Uh, there's where you can get your ender chest. There's where you're going to pay. And here's what I'm going to sell. So, there's a lot of things I could have sold. But I've limited it to, well, not really, actually, but um, I've picked four things. And I think the pricing's okay. So cake, I'm going to do two cake for one iron. I'm doing it super cheap. That is cheap, right? People want cake? Come here, because the reason why it's so che cheap is because people don't really need cake on the server. But I thought it's better to get something than, than make it free. So two cake for one iron. I'm going to need to fill this up. 32 cookies for one iron ingot. Again, I think that's a good price. Plus, they're quite easy to make, so there you go. So that's kind of like the, the ready-made cakes and cookies and stuff. On this side is the more basic materials. We have 32 wheat for 8 iron ingots, because wheat's a bit harder to get. You have to wait for it to grow. I think that's pretty good. I might even 
Hmm. I think that's fair. Maybe that should be a bit more. We'll see how it goes, but um, yep. And also eggs. Eggs are going to be free because I've got tons of them. Once you have a chicken farm set up, you pretty much never need to worry about eggs again. Speaking of which, let's go have a look at um, my little uh, bakery bit, which is underground. Which is why I turned down the mobs, because they are a bit loud. I'll turn them up a tiny little bit. There you go, yeah. Just a tiny, tiny bit. So down here is where I do my preparations to make the food. We have the egg farm, chicken farm. And some eggs. We have the cows to get the milk buckets. And down here we have a cocoa bean farm. And the reason why the eggs are free is because, yeah, definitely got enough eggs. There's cocoa beans. That's to make the cookies. And I get the sugar cane, which is for sugar. I get that from the farm at Farm Town. And also, I saw Dravardens made a massive one on the server recently. And I also made my own wheat farm somewhere way off on the server um, to get the wheat. So there's a bit of wheat. There's a bit of that. There's all the eggs, uh, there's the milk buckets, and there's the cocoa beans. There's all my supplies, ready to make the cakes and cookies and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's my little my little thing underground. Uh, and what I'm going to do is come up here. And this is where I refill, so... These chests... Oh, I can't break them. Oh, that was stupid. I need to... Hmm. <laughs> I need to rework that, but there are some hoppers that lead down to... Uh, the chests in the building. Yep. And that's it really, that's the that's the, the muck luck sweet treats patisserie and bakery. Not open for business quite yet. I'm gonna put a sign saying still need to make the stock for it, but um yeah, I think it looks very nice. It looks very pretty on the server. I like it. Alright, well I think that's probably gonna do it for this episode. Um stay tuned for a I don't, oh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it on my channel, but there was a big group event concerning Jaysano Land uh, not too long ago, which is going to be uploaded by some. I'll probably say more about that closer to the time. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.